Okay. Good afternoon again. Sir Orvin here. Uh, let's continue with our advanced charts lesson. Um, I'm going to show you again our PowerPoint. So the next slide is actually an example of the minimalist chart that we have uh, been discussing. So uh, part of that is the butterfly chart, the column and bar chart, which is minimalist, and the donut chart. Now, what I want you to uh, do with this slide is to do it on your own first before I discuss. Okay, so I'm going to keep the discussion for this. Uh, and then we're going to proceed first for the next topics. Uh, so we have the next tab is with li line chart with arrow, spark line, and the incel chart. Okay, so let's make this uh, a fast discussion so that I do not have to bore you with a lot of videos. So the line chart with arrow is first. It's very simple. So this is just a chart, and then we're just going to change the characteristic or the appearance of the chart to have an arrow. So the topic is just to give you an idea on how do you change things in the chart. Let's proceed and have another uh, slide number nine. I'm going to end the sharing of this and share to you again the Excel. Okay, so this is new worksheet from the previous. Uh, uh, this is a new worksheet from the previous uh, examples that we were doing. Uh, so I'm just going to copy what was on that slide number nine of our PowerPoint, which is line chart with arrow. So this is the sales, and then I'm just going to insert a line chart. So uh, highlight this chart and go for a line chart, simple line chart. So this is the chart. Uh, there's nothing have to be done here, except that you click on the line. And then of course, when you double click that, uh, or you go for the format, Okay, um, is it in here? No, no, no. I have to go on our chart elements. So you have to double click, format data point. Okay, so let me repeat. How did I do that? So on the chart, just double click, format data point, and go with fill and line. Then on the fill and line, this is the line. Uh, go down. And then of course you have the begin arrow type, begin arrow size, and arrow type and arrow size. So actually this is the end. Okay, this is the beginning. Okay, so end arrow types we want to change. And I'm going to choose from here, this arrow. Okay. So you can see that I already have an arrow. I can again change the arrow size of this, make it bigger. Okay. So format data series is what you can see right now on the field and line. This one and this one. Okay. Arrow size, arrow and type. You can change this if you want. You can change. Okay, so that's our chart with line chart with arrow. Okay, for the next one, next slide. Let me go back again to our uh, PowerPoint. Spark line. Okay, the spark line is. Uh, you can see here, as you can see from our table, student one, this is score number one, score number two, score number three. So we're just adding a column with a spark line. We're in mapping already. OK, 
each individual student scores. So that's what we're going to do. So just copy this table. Let's go back to our Excel. Okay, I'm going to share to you the Excel file. So let's click on the Excel file. Okay. One, two, okay. So this is the same Excel file that we were been we we've been using earlier. So we just add a new worksheet and then just copy and paste the table that we have uh, from our PowerPoint slide number ten. So this is the student name. I'm just going to zoom it. Okay, and then make this bigger. Okay, and then. Column is where we're going to put the spark line. Uh -huh. Okay. So all you have to do is go to this first row and then insert and then go to spark line. So after the charts, you have 3D map and then you have spark lines here. Click on the line. We want line, you can also use a column, win, loss, so it's up to you. But right now, we're just going to use a line. Data range is your scores, okay? And then location range is in E2. That's where you're going to put it. Again, data range is from B2 to D2. Location range is the E2. Press OK. Okay, so that's our spark line. Now, what you're going to do is just to put some uh, markers or points. So you can use high point, first point, low point, last point, negative points, or the whole marker. So we can just remove everything and just keep the markers. That's all, okay? So you can see it here, and then how do you apply this on the other cell? You just copy and paste, or just click and drag, same as just copying. Okay, so that's what our spark line is. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing this. This is the final resort, result of that slide number 10. Let's continue to our uh, last topic. So I will share it to you again. Our PowerPoint. And the last is the incel chart. So the idea of the incel chart is the chart within the cell. Okay, it's like the spark line. Spark line is just the uh, line, but here you're gonna have a symbol. And you can see that the function that we're going to use is REPT, -R okay, or repeat, okay. So repeat, why do we have to repeat? It's actually going to repeat the symbols or the character to represent the value okay so let's proceed stop sharing this again share again the excel file okay so let's proceed uh, just copy the table okay from slide number 11 of your excel uh, powerpoint sorry uh, and then just the first two columns, project and then the progress. And put it on your Excel file, a new worksheet. So I'll just put this here in the middle, just to, for a change. Let me zoom this again. Okay, and then let me widen this column. And maybe widen also the okay. So just formatting. Okay. So the insel chart is actually using when you go here a function called REPT. Now for the REPT, you can see the argument to be the text. What do you want to use? In our uh, example, we have an I or a bar, vertical bar, and the number of times, okay? 
the number of times is this cell, but since this is in percentage, so you have to multiply it to 100. But if it is a number already, uh, a whole value, then you don't have to, or a whole number, then you have, don't have to multiply it by 100. So don't forget that. So this is our syntax. This is the uh, character that will be uh, displayed 50% uh, times 100, that's 50 times, okay? So that's how we're going to make this, no, sorry, going to make it uh, at the center. Okay, so let me copy the formula all throughout, and that's it. Okay, so this is the bar. So as we said, it depends on what character. So let's say I want a character of uh, a star, then I have a star. I want a character from any any character from your keyboard. Uh, percentage sign. Okay, or question mark. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so that's our advanced charts topic. I hope uh, you, you learned something from me and I, I, I want you to take care. So this is the last video. So before you watch this video, you have to watch all the previous videos. Okay, so they are connected to each other. Okay, so see you and have a nice day. Goodbye.